and here's our train. It is the brand new Class 805 IET. Hey everyone, Reese's Trains and today we're going to try out of Anti West Coast new Class 805 Evero trains. So you find me here today in London Euston, we're going to try out one of their new trains up to Birmingham. So the train we're going to be getting is the 1460 of Anti West Coast to Birmingham New Street. So let's get moving straight away, we don't have a lot of time. So we are off down this way today. And here's our train, it is the brand new Class 805 IET. There it is. So I'm in Coach D today, so I'm going to walk all the way down to the other unit. 805-011 and 805-001. But we are in 001 today. There's a little quick look at first class while we're walking by. Smoking is not permitted on board the train. This includes e-cigarettes and vapes. And in the interest of safety nice and security, interior. CCTV is in use. So here's the um, seat, which is very similar, if not the same as the Pendolino has. Here's the interior, just like any other IET. You've got seat reservations too. Okay, so the standard class seats on the new Evera trains are exactly the same as you get on the Pendolino. Um, a little bit firm, but they're okay, I suppose. Before we go, let's have a look around the seat and see what we have here. So you've got a table, you've got a little light. As I mentioned before, you've got seat reservations, you've got overhead racks, and the lighting in the interior is slightly different compared to LNER. And if you notice as well, you can see these screens here, they're very different to what's on Great Western Railway, Transparent Express, LNER, Hull Trains, Lumo, etc. This is a new model of the IET. It's also a point out East Midlands Railway are also going to be bringing out their um, different, slightly altered version of the IET, so I'm hoping to try those out in the future. So these will be replacing the Super Voyagers, which are currently moving, some of them moving to cross country at the moment. But we'll take this for a ride all the way up to Birmingham and we will see what these trains are like, see if I like them or not. So let's hit the road. And we're now on our way out. There's a Pendolino. This train will call at Watford Junction, Milton Keynes Central, Rugby, Coventry, Birmingham International and Birmingham New Street. I think these announcements are quite good. The next station will be Watford Junction. Safety information posters can be found throughout the train. Please take a moment to familiarise yourself with this information. Smoking is not permitted on board the train. This includes e-cigarettes and vapes, and, in the interests of safety and security, CCTV is in use. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to our team or text the British Transport Police on 61016. See it, say it, sorted. So while it's quiet, let's have a look at the coach then. You've got some table seats here as you go down. Number of table seats all the way down to the other end. They're mostly, definitely more table seats on, let's say, the LNER um, trains. So that's a good thing. Although, one downside is the window alignment, again, is not perfect. Like with LNER and Transpennine Express and quite a lot of the IETs. This is something that annoys me too when the train fills up and there's barely any seats left and you get trolled into one of these so unfortunately it's one of my big bugbears when it comes to trains so I thought I'd throw that out. So we have a look at the vestibule right quick. Typical vestibule, new LED lights, you've got the first class section there and you've also got a toilet. Let's quickly have a look at the toilet. It all smells new. So here's your toilet. Here's your sink. And it all seems to be clean and all in good working order. I 
another thing to point out with these trains is these don't have the ability to tilt so just like the 350 and unlike the Voyager these are restricted to a top speed on the most of the West Coast mainline of 110 miles per hour as these cannot tilt and it's worth noting these trains do have plug sockets behind each seat Watford Junction so in Watford Junction there's the 350 368 you've also got a window blind should you want to spoil someone else's view but don't do that and you've also got, got coat hangers as well, very useful. Okay, the train manager announced that there are two onboard shops only because each unit has one onboard shop. Um, but for this particular unit I'm in, um, the onboard shop is in Coach B, so we'll go have a look at that shortly. Okay, so we're about to pass Leeton Buzzard in a couple minutes, which means this train's gonna have to slow down to a slow 90 miles per hour. The Pendolino can go around there at full speed. The Voyager has to slow down to about 110, 150 miles an hour to get through, get around there. Trains that don't till have to slow down. Got my speedo up on my tablet, as you can see, we are slowing down. And we've slowed right down to 90 miles per hour. Leighton Buzzard. Gotta say, this is pretty slow for going around here because when I was on the Pendolino, we could go for it at full speed. We'd have normally been able to tilt through here at speed, but obviously, because this train doesn't tilt, we can't, which is a shame. Once clear of Leeton Buzzard, we're back to full speed, 110 miles per hour. Here's Milton Keynes. Okay, let's have a look at the onboard shop then. Got another vestibule, you've got a toilet that's disguised as a cupboard. A smaller toilet is what I mean. So here in Coach B we have the brand new onboard shop. Okay, so just got a drink from the onboard shop. The unfortunately, the drink is warm. Unfortunately, the temperature of the fridge is not <coughs> cold at the moment, which is a little bit of a disappointment. But I suppose with these new trains, what you got to remember as well is these are still being rolled out, and they will have some teething problems. You can say so. Sometimes you just have to give it a little bit of time when new trains are rolled out for things to fix up and things get a little bit better on. Uh, that from but the thing is though we'll say the staff are friendly on board this service which is good oh dear bad traffic on the motorway really busy we will shortly be arriving at rugby oh look what we have here we have a class 175 from transport for wales look at that interior One seven five one oh five. First time I've ever seen a one seven five in my entire life. <laughs> Here's rugby, and not the game rugby, if you ask me. <laughs> well, I think this is my first ever time here in Coventry. There's a cross-country Voyager, where the Avanti Super Voyagers will be going to next. According to some diagrams found online, these 805s will be doing the London Euston to Birmingham New Street, Birmingham New Street to London Euston services at times, replacing some of the Voyager diagrams as well as the London Euston to Holyhead and Chester services. 
Um, with these trains being bi-mode, these can continue on electric up to Chester, then go to diesel. Very economical and better than the Voyager, which has to run on diesel all the way down to London. So I could say this train does have its positives and negatives. It's passing Burke's well. <laughs> It's Birmingham International, fancy West Coast station. So, as we're on the home stretch to Birmingham New Street, what do I think of these trains then? Well, they are pretty nice. Um, there are a few teething problems, but of course you've got to expect that with these new trains. Um, I do prefer the interior of these to the LNER and Transpennine Express ones. The seats are better than on other IETs because of the other ones feature the ironing board seats, but these are okay, although eh, still a bit on the firm side, not the most comfortable I've sat on, but I suppose they're okay. The information screens are really useful. I'm really pleased about that. I feel it's definitely an improved version of the IET, so yeah, um, I'm, I'm impressed with these trains. The only downside, the only thing that is a pity, I will say, is these do not have the ability to tilt, which is which is disappointing, which means trains have to slow down, they're going to go as fast as 110 on certain parts of the West Coast Main Line, but it would have been better if these could tilt so they could go a little bit faster, so... So that's obviously um, pushed our progress back a little bit. We've still been mostly on time though, despite you know uh, traveling at 110 miles per hour. And in terms of price, it did cost 27 pounds 35 with a rail card. I booked it a couple of days in advance once I found out the diagrams for when these 805s have been operating. So I'd give these trains a thumbs up. The staff are friendly and yeah, really enjoyed it. And um, we'll hopefully travel with these travel on one of these again soon so yeah so that is my opinion and thought on the class 805 Aviro trains and we're now on the approach to Birmingham New Street unattended on trains or at stations if you become aware of any suspicious items or people acting suspiciously please tell a member of staff or a police officer in the interests of safety and security this train is fitted with CCTV Please retain your ticket as ticket barriers may be in operation. Here we are at Birmingham New Street. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting station. I've always found Birmingham New Street to be pretty interesting to be honest. Right, here we are. Looking all fresh and new, 805001. Hey, you find me now here in Birmingham New Street and I am really impressed with these new IETs, the Averos they're called. Um, have you tried them out? What do you think? Let me know your thoughts. So I think I'm going to round off the video here. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.